Hello everyone, I'm glad to see you guys again. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate drop items from destroyed items. First, let's create a new scene for coin. Uh, we need to create a kinematic body 2D for this coin instance. Then, as usual, put Sprite, Clearance, Shift 2D, and Animation Player to Coin. Next, uh, drag Coin Sprite Shade to Texture. After that, we can set up a collision shape for coin. Let's choose a circle for it. Now it is a, uh, our main animation for coin. We need an idle and a bounce animation in this tutorial. First one is idle which is the animation we will play when coins stay there waiting. As you can see on Sprite Sheet, it has 4 frames, so 0.4 seconds in total should be good. Then set up V frames and H frames to 1 and 4. Uh, next is very simple, add frames to animation. Don't forget to click animation looping button. For bounce, this is the animation we need um, when pop up coin out of destroyed items. I want this coin to jump out and then settle down. We only need to put sprites uh, position into animation. Start with y equals minus 8. Second frame will be y equals 0 and then down to uh, minus 6. As, you, as I showed you, uh, this will make sure coin is bouncing vertically. We will handle movement in code later. Uh, next, we will uh, we need a collecting zone that will detect if player can pick up coin. Put a, put an area to denote to coin and set up collision shape to D as a circle. You can make this a circle any size you would like player to pick up. Don't forget to set uh, collecting zone clearing layer and mask. In our case, collecting zone should detect character, but we don't need this zone to get detected. Cool, uh, we are all set with node setup. Let's save it. Now we can add script to cone.
Let's put the pop-up uh, target position uh, variable first. Oh, I forgot to put a twin uh, note coin. Let me add it. In this pop-up, I want to bring randomness to it to make it look natural. So I put a random number gen generator here. When coin instance get added to the tree, we want to determine the target position. So we add a code in ready function. First, we get uh, a random integer from minus 12 to 12. Next, use pi, uh, which is a built-in Godot, uh, Godot variable, to get an angle. Then we get a normalized vector for target position. Our target position will be coin start global position plus offset vector, which should be uh, vector 2, 8, uh, comma 8, and plus vector we get. Next, we need to create a pop-up function to move coin to target position. In this function, I will introduce a very powerful and common tool, Twin. It will help us uh, build a lot of interesting changing effects as long as you can have huge um, space to imagine. Uh, twin uh, interpolit property will uh, change a property for an instance. You can interpolate coin's global position property from current position to target position with 0.5 seconds. But you can set up the seconds you like because I use this with animations total uh, seconds. And then how you want it to change. It's called twin trans and somehow something else. Twin is out. Uh, you can play around with it to see how it affects our effect. Um, it will uh, I will attach a reference uh, chart for you to understand via chart. Next, uh, then remember to start twin after you you set up the, set up it correctly. Next, play bounce animation while twin is working. Let's get back to ready function to call pop function with offset and target position. Next, we want to switch coin state from bounce to idle after twin movement finished. So let's create a signal function from twin node called um, twin completed. When it is done, play idle animation. Oh, I don't want coin get collected by player when it is bouncing, moving. So I will disable monitoring uh, for collect collecting zone in bouncing. And when twin is done, I will turn on monitoring.
Cool. Last one for coins, the collection zone. Create signal function from area to D. When body enters into collection zone, if body's name is player, we will print out coin collected. This is for testing and Q free coin. This function is open to future changes to embrace more functions, such as when collection happens, play collection effect animation, uh, add coins to player's pocket, or stats data, and so on. But for this tutorial, I will leave it as is. Now we can implement parent item which will pop this coin. Let's go to weed script and create a preload variable. We can call it coin uh, with path from file system. Next, we can put all destroy uh, code to destroy function. and initiate coin from there. It, this is typical way to instance a node. Just remember to point coin node's position as the position of parent, which is with here. Then add coin as a child to with parent, which should be a Y sort uh, node. Let's test. Cool, uh, it works, but the movement didn't look like what I expect. And whoops, we got an error. Oh, this res should not be zero. Let's make a small hack here. Avoid assign zero to res. Put a while statement here. Test again. Uh, uh, and it looks like no error, but still not looking good enough. The movement distance is too small for me. Let's change the size of pop-up item to a smaller size to see. Um, it still looks like moving very little. Uh, uh, I knew it. I made a small mistake. I forgot to multiply radius with normalized vector we have. Let's create a radius to allow this coin to move to the circle of this radius. Test again. 
nice. It looks much better and fancy enough. Cool guys, thanks for watching today's video. Next time I'm going to build our first enemy with some behavior setup. Please subscribe my channel if you like it. See you next time.